to jump at 4.50, but actually wanted to enter at 4.55. And it's the only athlete to clear that height. Again, makes it look easy. I was having a conversation with her recently in Lausanne, where we were talking about the fact that for these women who are used to the higher heights, it's actually very difficult to clear those lower heights. So there is no point for her to enter at a four meters and 30 because she'll have to readjust with her pulse. She's so used to having that grip for the higher heights that there is absolutely no point for her to enter any earlier. And she shows here her strength with that 455 clearance. The big cue for her. You can see there the defending champion with her opening jump very comfortable waited a while there to enter the competition 465 there is her sister who's also a pole vaulter and her husband and coach Mitch Creer with the red cap travels around the circuit with her we've often seen him help out some of the other vaulters as well when some of the coaches can't be traveling all right says 465 there for the defending champion as we move on to the next Greek Ekaterini Stefanidi has won pretty much anything you can win these last few years and she goes clear as well of course a lot fewer attempts for her only entered the competition at 4.65, left out at 4.70 and now goes clear at 4.75. Really struggled with injury during the indoor season and was very happy that she managed to win a medal at the World Indoor Championships and then also struggled a little during the outdoor season going in but now she's really finding that top form that we are used to seeing from her in major championships there. championship record held by this woman here, Katerini Stefanidi with 481 and she's looking very strong and she clears it in her first attempt as well so if she keeps going like this she will be hard to beat and that championship record will be history very soon was so dominant last year and she was saying she hasn't seen anyone as dominant in the pole board in a while and she's starting to take it granted so this season's kind of helped her come back down to earth a bit she struggled a little to start off with but now really finding into that championship shape she's been chasing clear that for 85 it would be a new championship record and better the one that she herself set in Amsterdam and she does it the bar wobbles slightly it stays up and what a fantastic performance there. Her coach on the right, guessing it might be her dad on the left. Just showing again what a championship performer she is. Came in here with the pressure on her back. Berlino there, <laughs> congratulating her. Has to untangle the flag there first. And of course the pole boards will have to tidy up their poles as well. There she is, flying the Greek flag after we already saw a Greek victory in the long jump yesterday. There is her sister. Held the flag upside down, I think. Now all good, celebrating with Berlino. It must be quite relieving to get a hug from a big bear there. You know they say bear hugs, I think that's quite literal in that sense. Well, you've seen Berlino do a few laps of the track over the course of this evening. He's probably been one of the most active people on the track.